Hi there, this is Chris, Chapman Account Motor Legends. Today I'm going to talk about custom fitting on the Schubert C5 helmet. We are far from being the world's largest seller of motorcycle apparel, but we are probably one of the noisiest. We care about the detail and we like gear to work. And so we spend more time than other retailers in dialogue with the manufacturers, helping them try to improve their products. Now, when it became clear a couple of years ago that the Schubert C4 wasn't working, we were quite vocal on the subject. And eventually Schubert came over from Germany to talk to us about the problems. From that meeting arose a dialogue. Now it was clear that the C5 would be coming along at some point and so we explained to them that one of the biggest weaknesses with a Schubert helmet was the inability to change the cheek pads and headliners in the way that you could do on a Shui or an Arai to create a more customised fit. So it was no surprise that when the C5 did eventually get launched earlier this year that changeable liners were part of that package. Now the helmet's been around about six months. The interior parts have only just arrived with us. Up to now, it's got to be said that we couldn't take the C5 too seriously because just like any budget helmet, you put it on and it either fitted or it didn't. But now we should be able to custom fit the C5 and do a far better job of trying to make it work on a far wider range of heads. But Schubert has very much put its own spin on how liners should work and how the cheek pads and liners should fit in their helmets. They probably just wanted to do it differently to Shui and Arai, which is understandable. Our problem as a company is that we are perhaps just too used to the way that Shui and Arai do these things and the simplicity with which the liners can be taken out of their helmets and put back in. But the Schubert way, in our opinion, is monstrously confusing. Changing the headliners only works in three key sizes and changing those liners is way, way more complex and time consuming than it is on a Shui, an Arai or even a Shark. The three sizes into which liners can be changed are medium, that's the 57 size, large, 59, and XL, 61. And to us, that just appears a bit half-assed because the C5 as a helmet comes not in three sizes, but in six sizes. Now, it's true that these three sizes here do account for the majority of sales, but we still think that it suggests that Schubert is not taking the custom fitting of helmets as seriously as it should be. Could it be perhaps that they are just putting a toe in the water and seeing what the uptake is like before rolling the program out. Well, that's a possibility. But the problem is that if it doesn't work, if there's not an uptake for these liners, then they will never know whether it was because there's a real lack of demand for it or whether they just didn't do it properly in the first place. I suppose we'll just have to wait and see. So the good news with the C5 is that Schubert has created separate pads of different thicknesses to put at the side of the head. Now, patently, that creates a better situation than we have with either Shui or Arai. With Shui, if you put a thicker liner in the helmet or a thinner liner in the helmet, it's thicker all the way round or it's thinner all the way round. But with Schubert, you can now have thicker sides and a thinner pad at the back if that is what you want. That's got to be a good thing because that's going to give us more room for individual adjustment. But what Shui has done, and this in our book is a mistake, they package the liners into sets. So you can get a set to make your head shape rounder, or you can get a set to make the head shape more oval. If you want a rounder shape, the pack, which comprises three elements, two side pads and a back pad. If you want to make the head shape rounder, you get thinner sides and a thicker pad at the back. If you want to make the head shape more oval, you get thicker pieces for the side and a thinner one at the back. This we understand but how is anyone at home ever going to know what the shape of the head actually is? Often, we here in the shop, when we've got a customer in front of us, we still get it wrong. It's not an exact science. So how is anyone else ever going to know what they need to buy? There will also be times when you're fitting your helmet or you want to adjust the, the fitment of your helmet where you want thicker side panels and a thicker pad at the back, or you just want, say for example, thicker side pads, or you might just want a little bit more room front to back, so you just want a thinner pad at the back. And in all those circumstances, you will not want to buy the pack of three that has been bundled together by Schubert. This bundling of the neck pads and the side pads is, as we see it, the main problem with the Schubert system, which is why we are going to tear these packs apart and we're going to offer the interior parts individually. 
So for the three sizes where we can fit different thicknesses of liner, we are going to offer both the side pads and the neck pads as either a thinner set or a thicker set. Now, if you're looking to do this on your own at home, you need to know that the medium and large size helmets share a set of liners and they share a set of liners because they share the same shell size. The extra large helmet has a different shell size, so you cannot mix the internal parts from an XL with a medium or large helmet. No two ways about it, this can become a little bit complicated. So let us explain the situation as simply as we can, albeit it's not gonna be that simple. Now, in a medium C5, that is a 57 centimeter size, 15 millimeter pads come as standard on the side of the head and as the neck pad. If you want to make the helmet larger, a little bit roomier, you can fit seven mil pads or 10 mil pads at the back or on the sides. If you want to make the helmet smaller, in other words, a little bit tighter, you can fit 17 mil pads. So you go up from the 15 to 17 mil pads. And again, you can do that for the back or the sides. Moving on to the 59 helmet, the large size helmet. In a large size helmet, the standard pads at the back and the side are 10 millimeters. If you want to make the helmet a little bit larger, a little bit roomier, you can fit seven mil pads in the back of the neck or on the sides. If you want to make this size of helmet smaller, you can fit either 15 mil pads or 17 mil pads, again, at the back of the helmet or at the side of the helmet. This leaves us with the last size extra large, 61. All 61 helmets come as standard with 15 millimeter pads at the side of the head and at the back of the neck. You can fit 12 millimeter pads if you wanna make the helmet even larger. Or if you wanna make the helmet a little bit tighter, you can fit 17 millimeter pads. But as I've explained, if you want to change the internals in an XL, you cannot use the liners from a medium and large. Extra large has its own dedicated set. The good news perhaps is the situation with the cheek pads on the C5 is much simpler. In every size of helmet, you can go at least one size thicker in a cheek pad or at least one size thinner. In some sizes, you can go two sizes thicker. In some sizes, you can go two sizes thinner. In every helmet, the cheek pad, the standard cheek pad is either 15 mil or 20 mil. You can fit a, up to a 10 mil or as little as a 10 mil pad if you want to create more room in the helmet. That's what Schubert are calling a comfort fit. If you want a sportier, more aggressive, slightly more chipmunk fit, then you can go as thick as a 25 mil cheek pad. So on one level, the situation couldn't be simpler because this is going to work across all six sizes. All four thicknesses of cheek pad will work across all six helmets. But the Aros system does mean that removing and fitting the cheek pads takes a bit longer because the arrow system, the anti-roll-off system, means that there's a strap that comes from the back of the helmet. It's riveted into the back of the helmet. There's a strap that comes and loops into the chin strap. And what you have to do to remove the cheek pad, you have to undo the Velcro that the arrow strap comes through. Then you have to pull out the chin strap itself. It takes a couple of seconds. It's not rocket science, it doesn't take that long, but it's certainly not as simple and as straightforward as it is when you're fitting a cheek pad into a shoey or an outright. But when we're looking at the liners, there is good news and bad news. And that's down to the fact that with shoey and arai, we work on a kind of an exchange program. So we don't pay for the liners. If we fit a different size liner into a shoey helmet, we send the standard one back to shoey and they give us a credit for that. So it doesn't cost anything and therefore customers don't pay. But that's not how the Shoebirth system works. Shoebirth have not got to that exchange, that system yet. They are not offering an exchange program. Their cheek pads are really just items that you can buy. But we have decided that if you come to the shop for a helmet fitting, we won't charge for any of the pads that we fit. We think basically that it's wrong if a customer were to come into the shop, sell them a 500 pound helmet and then expect them to pay more money to make that helmet fit properly. That just doesn't seem right to us. Equally, we can't accept sending a customer away from the shop with a 500 pound helmet knowing that it doesn't fit as it should do. So if you come to us, we will swallow all of the costs involved in fitting different cheek pads, different side pads or a different back pad. 
Now, out of interest, a set of cheek pads would cost 61 pounds. And if you buy online, a set of these pads will cost you 61 pounds. If you buy a set of these side pads, these cost 18 pounds, as does a thicker or thinner neck pad. So in total, if you were to come to the shop and we were to fit the cheek pads, the side pads and the neck pad, that could be a cost of a hundred pounds. But the bottom line therefore I think is that if you want to go for a C5 and you want to have it fitted properly, you should come and see us. Helmet fitting is something that we are pretty good at. <coughs> when we fit a helmet, we will do a number of tests to make sure that we get it right. If the C5 is basically the right shape for your head, we can use the pads, the internal pads, to get the best possible fit. If it's clear, however, that the C5 is not going to work for you, we will go on and we'll try the Neotech. It has a similar shape, but we'll try the Neotech. If that doesn't work, if your head is too round, because both now the Neotech 2 and the C5 have a fairly oval fit, if that's not right for you, we will go on to the C3. The fact is that here at Motor Legends, we are big on flip helmets. And we reckon that by looking at all three of those helmets, very rarely will be the occasion where we can't make one of them fit properly. It's probably true to say that not many shops in the UK will carry all the liners for the C5 helmet, the cheek pads, the side pads, the back pads. It's probably true also to say that not many shops in the UK care about custom fitting in the first place, but it's undoubtedly true that no shops will offer free custom fitting on the C5 in the way that we will. The truth is that we are still getting to know the C5 as a helmet. That it's better than the C5 was is thankfully beyond doubt. We've had very few issues with the C5 in the time that we've had it, and none of which, or none of the failings that we've seen are what you would call systematic failings. Some have found the Neotech still to be more comfortable than the C5, but that was before we had the ability to custom fit the C5. So that's a situation that may well change. Some have found the C5 to be quieter than the Neotech, but a similar number have probably found exactly the converse. The C5 with its mesh comms and high definition speakers was very much a, or has been very much a selling point in favor of the C5, but now Shui has come out with a similar mesh offering with Harman Kardon speakers. The unavoidable truth is that the Schubert C5 and the Shui Neotech 2 are very similar helmets. They both in some ways copied one another. The result is that there is little clear blue water to separate the two helmets. The choice to date has been down to, I suppose, brand loyalty, but largely fit. And historically, fit has come down very much in the favor of the Shui. But from now, I think it'll be a much closer call because of course we will be able to do custom fitting. What is going to be a less close call is that if you want to stand a chance of getting a good fit on the C5 or indeed any flip lid helmet, your best chance is to come to Moto Legends.